Hello, and welcome back to the universe. It is finally here, my sunscreen extravaganza video. This took a bit of time to put together. I know I've been talking about this for a few months, but the reason it took so long was first, I had to figure out what sunscreens to get. Second, I had to test them all out. Third, it was a financial commitment seal. And then fourth, I had to figure out what I liked, what I disliked, and then categorize it all. So it took me a bit of time, but it is here now. Some background information. The reason I'm on this sunscreen journey hunt is because back in some time ago, I think it was a few months ago, I honestly don't remember when, the Beach Shield, my most favorite coveted sunscreen by Crave Beauty got discontinued because their labs tested the SPF of their sunscreen after a slew of Korean-based sunscreen products came out with not being actually the SPF that they were packaged to be. There's a lot of sunscreens that are made in Korea. They did a lot of internal lab testing and they found out that a lot of them didn't meet the SPF levels that, that they said that they meant. Terrible, right? Because you, something is put, marketed to be 50, right? But then it's actually lower than that. That's a very, very big no-no. Especially because we're working with like chemicals and science. So anyways, this was pulled off of their product list at Crave, which is so unfortunate because this is the best sunscreen I've ever tried in my life. It's perfectly priced, perfect consistency, perfect the way that it applies, not greasy, not oily, no white cap, no pilling gives me the perfect do I could wear just this priced right like $20 or less and 50 milliliters so I was so sad I mean I decided to go on a sunscreen journey and thank you to style Vana for sending me a few of these sunscreens I'll make sure to list the ones that they have sent me down below but although I mean just because they send me doesn't change my opinion it's not like I'm getting paid for it right so I have notes that I made of all of the sunscreens that I tried, and I've tried in total 12, 13 sunscreens. Some of them are recommendations from you guys, some were actually gifted to me by Stylevana, and then some I bought myself. And I wrote down the SPF, the pros, the cons, the milliliters, and the price, and I'm gonna lay it out for you, for you to decide what to do. I actually don't make a lot of skincare content because that's not my forte, not my field of expertise but if you like my cup look at this cute little I got a little sunburnt look going on today what do we okay anyway so I'm gonna just take you through the whole list I haven't categorized them I just I just wrote them down from top to bottom and then I'll tell you in the end what my probably top three the first sunscreen that I'm gonna talk about is the two there are two of them the Sun Project Shimmer Sun Essence and the Light Sun Project Light Sun Essence from Thank You Farmer. I've loved these from a long time ago, so these aren't new, and I've talked about these before on my channel, and there should be some videos somewhere. Both of these are 40 milliliters, and on some sites, they're priced at $27, which is so cool glam, and then on Style Vana, it's priced at $23.99, so it's above $20, and they both come with 40 milliliters, which is not that much product. The Shimmer Sun Essence is 30 SPF, while the Light Sun Essence is 50 plus SPF. I love the Light Sun Essence and I've talked about it before. It's a fan favorite of mine. Repurchased it maybe two or three times. Pretty expensive, but I enjoyed it a lot. But I kind of stopped repurchasing it because I noticed that it always pilled with my makeup. So while it's really lightweight and there's no white cast at all, it's not oily, it's very thin, and it's not greasy, there's pilling. So I only opt to wear this when I'm not wearing makeup. So that's kind of the limiting factor with the, the blue one, the light sun essence. Then the limiting factor with the shimmer sun essence is that it's only 30 SPF which I think is a little too low for what I'm looking for. So while it doesn't pill, same not greasy, no white cast, all of the things that are really great, it's low in SPF and it's, you know, pricier and then it's less quantity. The thing about this is it doesn't pill with my makeup, but the SPF is so low that I feel like this is something that I'd have to reapply more often, but I end up don't, not doing that. So that's kind of the me huh with these, but I do really enjoy these sunscreens a lot. I think they're actually good, very good quality sunscreens. Next is the La Roche-Posay Anthelios 
light fluid sunscreen and this is 60 SPF, 50 milliliters for $29.99. So it's actually over $30 once you pay for tax and stuff. It is very, very thin, very watery, not greasy. It has a good amount of dew to it. It's very milky and it has this weird look or not weird, but there's something in there. So you shake it up, like the way that it applies, it's very thin. And I enjoy this a lot. It doesn't have a strong sunscreen scent. It has a very faint scent, so nothing too strong. My qualm about this is just how expensive it is. $30 is a lot. It's 50 milliliters, so it's pretty standard in terms of how much you get, but I really want something that's not $30 because sunscreen is something that you're gonna constantly have to repurchase. So while I think there's a lot of pros to this, although there's some mixed opinions, some of my friends really like it, some of my friends don't. One of my friends really recommended this to me and that's why I got it. And it's actually really good. The only thing that's holding me back from buying this over and over again is that it's over $30. So that's my thing with that. Other than that, if you can afford it, it's a very great sunscreen. It doesn't give you that same dewiness as Crave Beach Shield, but it gives you enough and it's a great just overall sunscreen. Next is the Pure Lotus Jeju Botanical Sun Cream, which is SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 plus, and it's 50 milliliters and it's $19.09. .09. So it's right below $20, which is perfect. 50 milliliters and 50 SPF, which is really important to me. This is actually a new favorite of mine. I think I've seen this floating around on Instagram, but I never thought to get it. And then Style Vaughn has sent it to me and I really like it. It's lightweight, it's not greasy. The scent can be slightly, it can be overbearing, like kind of smells like a hotel bathroom. So it's a nice smell, I like it. I'm, I'm okay with fragrance, so I like it, but it can be strong for some people, especially if you, get, if you have to wear this every day, you might not enjoy it. There's no pilling, no white cast, and there is definitely a dewiness. It's not super, super dewy, but it leaves you with a slight do. It also dries nicely. It doesn't stay on too tacky. So I really like this. Not greasy, very lightweight, and it's right around the price range. So it's a very, very good sunscreen, and I highly recommend this one. Next is the COSRX Aloe Soothing Sun Cream. I've definitely seen other people used it, use it, but honestly, I never explored sunscreens after I got the Beach Shield because I was like, what's the point? What's the point? And this COSRX Aloe Soothing Sun Cream is SPF 50 plus, PA plus plus plus, three pluses. I don't know too much about the UV shield stuff, so please look for a more educated person for that. I'll link some videos below. I'm just giving you my recommendations from what I tried. This is just like, oh, good sunscreen. If you wanna know the science behind that, it's not me that you're gonna get it from. This is also really really good Pro probably a new high new new high favorite of mine it's slightly thicker than the crave beauty beach shield and thicker than the other ones that i've been talking about not as watery and not as runny as like the milky ones like the la roche posay one it has a little bit of density to it but it applies really well it doesn't like stay in place there's no white cast it doesn't it has the slightest scent it's like an aloe scent it's very fresh it's not super overpowering so i really like that it doesn't pill no white cast not greasy i think this is the most dewiest out of the ones that i like i personally like a dewy sunscreen that's not for everybody i know that but that's just something that i personally look for and honestly there's no cons it's 16 dollars for 50 milliliters and it's 50 spf no cons really so far i haven't added any cons and it applies under makeup perfectly fine no pilling at all Next is the Etude House Sun Prize Mild Watery Light Chok Chok Hagu Sanditan Sun Gel. It's a sun gel. It's not gel-like at all. It's just like an any sunscreen. I don't think it's gel-like, but this is 50 plus PA++++ SPF as well. 50 milliliters for $9.90. So this one is a steal when it comes to money. I think this is a great, if not best, bang for your buck. It's thin, no white cast, no pilling. It doesn't give you that sunscreen feel. It has a fragrance. It's not really heavy. These Korean sunscreens never have too heavy of a fragrance, so I think it's okay. This isn't really a con, but it's not like watery thin. So if that's what you like, you might not like this, but this just blends out really well. And it applies a underneath makeup fine. I've experienced no pilling. So I would also recommend this, and it's literally $9 for 50 milliliters. Next, I have, I'm just speeding through, sorry you guys. No, it's good. 
Next is the Misha Soft Finish Sun Milk. This is also 50 plus PA plus 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 SPF and it's 70 milliliters. I also love the packaging. I think it's so cute. 70 milliliters for $14.40. So this is also another steal because you're getting 70 milliliters while most of these products are 50 milliliters and you're getting it for $14. This is so thin, so light. Sun Milk is a perfect description. And this one has like a, just the slightest, slightest shimmer. It's so slight you can barely notice it, but it's not shimmer. Like I don't want you guys to think of glitter. It's very soft. It's very soft focused sun milk. You know, that's a perfect description. But the thing is, it, it's very velvety. So for me, I don't really like that velvety finish. It's very like velvety pore filling, a little bit mattifying. And I personally don't like that in a sunscreen. For me, it kind of dries me out. So I don't really like the finish texture of it, but it's just, I don't like how it feels because it feels a little bit dry. And when I put on sunscreen and my moisturizer, I want to look like dewy wet. You know what I'm saying? Next, I have the Make Prem. I don't know if it's P-Rem or Prem. UV Defense Me Daily Sun Fluid. And this is by far the biggest sunscreen that I've seen in when it's for like, well, this is face and body, so that's why. This is 150 milliliters for $24. You get a lot for how much you pay for, and it's 50 SPF, but it is, I will not be using this. You get an extreme white cast where I look almost like gray white. I don't like it. It's typical sunscreeny. I think to, for me, it's that's the thing. It's not thick or anything, but when I apply it, because of the white cast, I feel like, oh my god, I have sunscreen on. You know that feeling? I think this is good for your body. I think it's okay. Like you don't really care. You're just putting it on to go to the water. I think this is fine. But in terms of this replacing any of my face sunscreens, no, 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 no. I'm here to make a clarification. I just tried this again. Uh, it's not that white casty. I don't know why the first time I tried it, I felt like it did. Granted, I didn't put on too much, but just want to clarify, it's fine. I also had two stick sun sticks, but this is the Misha sun stick, Airy sun stick. It's not bad. I just don't know how sanitary it is. And I don't think they even sell this one anymore, but I do put this on like on my body. And if I am going on a run or walk before I sh wash my face in the morning, cause I go on walks in the morning, I'll like throw this on. I just don't think this is good for like all the time application, but like this, doing something like this to get your neck, that's good, but not a face sunscreen. And then Stylevana also sent me this VT Essence Sun Pack. I just don't think it's really practical. I tried it a few times. The packaging is beautiful. It gives me Tiffany vibes, but I just don't really see myself using this white and blue sun pack as my daily sunscreen. So there's that. two other ones that I tried that I don't have anymore. The Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. I hated that so much. I gave it a try. It feels like the poreless primers people used to use back in the day was terrible. It's also $34. It is so not worth it in my opinion. And it, I mean, the good thing is that it disappears and it, it feels like, like it doesn't feel like sunscreen at all, all because it feels like a poreless primer. But I just personally, it was distasteful to me. And for $34, you will not catch me there. And then lastly, people did ask about the Biore UV Aqua Rich sunscreen, which I used for like two or three years, two or three years ago. And that was a favorite of mine as well. It's cheap, very watery. I just remember though, the Biore one, sometimes it would pill, but it was the closest in terms of consistency to that condensed milk consistency that I love so much about Crave. So maybe someday I'll buy it again, but right now I have so many sunscreens that I'm pretty much done. I couldn't purchase all of the recommendations that people had sent me. I apologize, my bank account is limited. I don't need to be buying so many sunscreens, but either way, out of the ones I tried, I think I actually found two that I probably will continue to purchase. And that is the Pure Lotus Jeju Botanical Sun Cream and the COSRX Aloe Soothing Sun Cream. These are absolute favorites of mine within the past three weeks that I've continued to test all these out. I think these are very consistent in the quality, in their lightweightness, they're not greasy. The scent is slightly strong in this one. I don't mind it. I like these two, but this one definitely is my 
number one. And while it doesn't give me that ultimate do, I think it does uh, a great enough job. Not just a good enough job, but a great enough job. So I would, I think out of all the things that I've tried, I'd recommend these two the most. Um, and then if I had to choose a top number one, it would be the Closer X. I know I haven't tried everything on the market and I'm sure there's better and people have continued to give me recommendations. Uh, but as of now, I don't know if I can buy any more, but I will when my wallet and my time allows. And this one I paid for myself and I'm going to pay for it continuously. This is my favorite. I have a discount code with them. You're more than welcome to use it. If not, this fine with me. This seat for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Not a science expert, not an expert of science, not a sunscreen expert of science. I just tried some sunscreens and I found ones that I like. As always, be nice to your parents. Wear a mask as there are new variantes. And let me know if you try any out of my recommendations and if they work for you. Goodbye.